A story, everyone. Welcome back to another video here on Play on GA with me, Seamus Brady. In this video, we're going to be doing a match review of Donegal seeing off Cavan in the Ulster semi final of 2022 on a scoreline of Donegal 216, Cavan 16 points. Donegal avenging their loss in the 2020 Ulster final. Of course, that game was being talked about in the lead up to this game as do Cavan have a chance? Can Cavan do it again? And Cavan absolutely showed that they are right up there when it comes to being able to compete with the best teams on their day, in my opinion. I don't think Donegal were bad. I just think Cavan are a lot better than people think that they are. I mean, Cavan, in my opinion, they play to the level of the team that they're playing against. I mean, the likes of Gerald McKeon and Paddy Lynch, even Martin Riley, who didn't start, but, when, you know, maybe he's a little bit past his peak, but the, they have the players there, like Killian Clark, I think is fantastic. James Smith, Thomas Galligan in midfield were brilliant. Ray McGalligan is as good a goalkeeper as you'll find. Then at the back, they've got the likes of Kieran Brady. They've got the likes of Parg Faulkner. They've got the likes of Jason McLaughlin. So look, and Killian Brady, actually, while we're talking about defenders, he did a fantastic job on Paddy McBrady. So Cavan absolutely have the players. Look, it didn't fall right for them on the day. I thought they were really, really good throughout the game. I thought they stuck with Donegal, but I thought they just made a couple of mistakes that cost them. We're going to get into that in the full match review. But please, before we do, please like, subscribe, comment, share, whatever. Just engage with the channel. Honestly, really, really helps. More than you could know. And if you ever get sick of the content, you can always unsubscribe. But thank you very much for all the support, all the help. It really means a lot. But yeah, let's get into the match review here. Donegal 216, Cavan 16 points. Played in St. Tiernox Park in Clonus. Cavan played with a slight breeze in the first half of the game. Cavan showed a lot of passion right from the start. I mean, the example I'm going to give here is the turnover when Thomas Gallagher made a great block down on Michael Murphy right inside the first few minutes. Cavan got the first point inside 20 seconds. A lovely score by Paddy Lynch. Swung it over with such confidence. You know, such just assurance in his own ability that he really belongs at this level like there was a lot of people saying oh like you know he's, he's looked good in the league but Cavan were playing division four teams look he had Brendan McCall in his pocket in that first half and he looked fantastic he looked like one of the best forwards around in that first half he was swinging over points from everywhere he gets the first score inside 20 seconds then in <laughs> you just spin the clock forward one minute and in my opinion Cavan should have had a penalty it was Cormac O'Reilly set the ball up for Gerald McKiernan, who was running right down the middle. Hugh McFadden, in my opinion, put both hands on Gerald McKiernan. And the contact is minimal. Yes, the contact is definitely minimal. But when you're Gerald McKiernan and you are traveling at that pace and you are lining up the shot and you get any bit of pressure on your back, you're going flying past the ball and there's no way you can kick it. So it is an obstruction to you scoring the goal. And in my opinion, a foul and it should have been a penalty. The referee, Connor Lane, didn't give it. Went down the other end. Owen Bon Gallagher was fouled. Michael Murphy kicked the ball over for the equaliser. Then there was a long ball in by Cormac O'Reilly. Jared Smith got that point. I think he could have potentially gone for goal, but there, but he took the point, two points to one. Owen Bon Gallagher then drew another foul for Donegal and it resulted in a power... No, sorry, it resulted in level scores again. Paddy McBrady making it two points apiece. In the 10th minute, Paddy Lynch pointed a free to make it 3-2 and then did the exact same two minutes later to make it four points to two. A tidy Kieran Thompson point made it four points to three. And then, and then James Smith responded brilliantly for Cavan with the score of the match up until that point to make it five points to three. Jamie Brennan responded for Donegal, but then Paddy Lynch responded for Cavan. Donegal responded to that with a Michael Murphy free, but Thomas Galligan kicked a lovely point straight after to make it seven points to five. Then Galligan pointed another one, his second one in a row, to make it eight points to five. Cavan, in the 22nd minute, were three points ahead of Donegal, eight points to five. That was about as good as a goff for Cavan. But this is what I'm showing. They showed serious passion right from the start. They showed they were right on Donegal's level in that first half. Jamie Brennan responded with a nice point for Donegal. Michael Murphy added on another to make it 8-7. Paddy Lynch stopped that momentum for Donegal with a nice point to make it 9-7 with that lovely score on the spin. And um, then three minutes after that, there was one of the controversial moments of the first half. Paddy McBrady looked like he might be going for goal. Porrick Faulkner ran past, went to hit him a shoulder, hit Paddy McBrady in the jaw with his shoulder. Now at halftime, 
Pat Balant was saying that he thought it should have been a red card. Me personally, I think yellow was fair. I don't think Faulkner went to clip him in the jaw. I think Faulkner went to hit him hard, but I think he went to hit him fair. In my opinion, yellow card, fair enough. Um, then uh, in the 31st minute, there was a goal chance for Cavan. And this was one of the moments that absolutely cost them the game because... Like, look, at this stage, it's nine points to eight in their favor. They have a bit of a lead. They have a bit of momentum. James Smith catches a wonderful long ball into him, but a wonderful catch as well. Then he turns around, smashes it off the crossbar. And when we look back at the replay, Sean Patton actually got a fingertip to it and diverted it up onto the bar and it bounced down. Unbelievable save by Sean Patton. Massive moment in the game because if Kavanaugh got a goal at that stage, it really would have kicked the momentum up for the for the remainder of the half anyway. It might, it might have given them more confidence going in at halftime because in the 33rd minute, Jamie Brennan palmed over a point to level the game and at halftime it was Cavan nine points, Donegal nine points. Five of Donegal's points in that first half had come from freeze. So that was the problem. That was the issue. The Cavan had worked so hard in the first half, yet they were going in at halftime level pegging. In the second half, Hugh McFadden was injured right from the throw-in. Unfortunately, I hope everything is all good there with him. Quaylon McGonagall came in for him, and McGonagall actually had a really good game. In the 38 minute, James Smith swung over a lovely point off his left to make it 10 9 for Cavan. But Pater Mogan responded with a tidy point for Donegal to level it up again. Jamie Brennan then pointed, and this was Donegal's purple patch. Jamie Brennan hit a point, then Michael Murphy tagged on two more to make it 13 points to 10 for Donegal. In the 46th minute, James Smith claimed the mark and nailed it. That's a real captain moment from James Smith to make it 13 11. Gerald McKeon and then hit a lovely point set up by Thomas Galligan to make a 13-12. That showed serious resilience from Cavan because at that stage of the game, I thought Donegal were going to kick on and win by six or seven. But Cavan hit back with two points of the round to bring it right back to a one-point game. Then in the 54th minute, Quaylon McGonagall curled one over the bar with his left foot to make a 14-12. Gerald McKiernan responded with a free for Cavan a minute later though to make a 14-13. And then he got another one from play to level up the game again at 14 points apiece. And what was key about that point was that it was a turnover by Porrick Faulkner in the midfield. Paddy Lynch and McKiernan then were involved in the counter-attack with McKiernan finishing it. Then in the 59th minute, this is where Cavan lost the game. A long ball, just direct. There's nothing scientific about it. Very similar to the way that Gerald McKeon sent that long ball in in the Ulster, Ulster final in 2020. A long ball in. Three Cavan lads go up for the one ball. Raymond Galligan was in there and two Cavan defenders. None of them call it. Not one Donegal player has gone up for that ball with them. The three of them take it off each other. They knock it down to the substitute, Connor O'Donnell, who I was surprised that he didn't start, especially after his performance against Tron and the league. But they knock it down to O'Donnell, who volleys a first time into an empty net. And Donegal have their goal. And then on top of that, um, Paddy McBrady added a free to make it 116 to 14. Then Thomas Galligan nailed, sorry, Raymond Galligan nailed a free to make it 116 to 15. And you're thinking, well, Cavan ain't gone yet. But then a very, very similar incident happens in the 68th minute. A wayward shot by Niall O'Donnell. He was being pushed as he took the shot on. It was skied up into the air. The Cavan defender, I don't know who it was off the top of my head now, but terrible defending. He ran, got caught underneath the ball. It fell to Paddy McBrady and he buried it. A very avoidable second goal. Again, there for Donegal. In the 74th minute, it could have got even worse for Cavan. Aaron Doherty hit the crossbar when he could have got another goal for Donegal. I think that would have been very harsh on Cavan to have three goals go in at the end. Paddy Lynch hit the last score of the game from a free, but that was his only point of the second half, which shows that Donegal really shut him down in the second half, they really did. He scored five points in the first half and one point in the second. And that was one of the key turning points in the game. The goals are what won this game for Donegal, 100%. Because, like, Cavan were right there with them. right, And they were level up until Conor O'Donnell's goal with 10 minutes to go. So, look, that's a very similar position that they were in in the 2020 Ulster final. They just got the rub of the green that day. They didn't get the rub of the green. Um, this day. Donegal got the look. Cavan made a, a simple mistake, really. 
And uh, yeah, so Cavan into the Taltian Cup. And you know what? Like I, I said with Matt Hurley, the GA stats man, that I actually, I fancy Cavan to actually win the Taltian Cup. And after a performance like this, you know what? I actually really do back them because like 100% they have the players. Like Gerald McKeon and James Smith, Thomas Galligan, like they're fantastic players, Cavan. And on top of that, with Paddy Lynch, that like they've got a baller up there. They've got someone who's a really good forward if they can give him the right service. So yeah, right now Cavan would be my pick. Um, it'll be interesting to see who joins them in the Taldian Cup. But yeah, for me, Cavan right now they've shown an ability to compete with a solid Division One side. So there's no reason why they shouldn't be at least challenging at the latter stages of the Taldian Cup for me. As for Donegal, I just think Cavan were good. I don't think Donegal were that bad people will say oh Donegal should have buried Cavan no, I think Donegal actually played pretty well and um, now they're going into an Ulster final against either Monaghan or Derry and I genuinely think that's a toss-up I really do I think that's a toss-up I think any of those three teams could come out Ulster champions Donegal will be a very happy camp right now as to where they're at and um, they've had a good run in Ulster over the last few years so they'll be very confident um, and they'll be aiming for Ulster title no doubt and they should be aiming for an All-Ireland because if Tyrone did it last year, Donegal have had a pretty good record against Tyrone in championship over the last few years. So Donegal will be looking at that thinking, well, if Tyrone can do it, we can do it. And they absolutely can do it. So yeah, this victory is a step in the right direction, redeeming the loss in 2020 and yeah, moving on. So yeah, guys, that is the play on GAA roundup of this game between Donegal and Cavan. It finished Donegal 216, Cavan 16 points. Donegal into their 10th Ulster final in 12 years. That's a serious record. And yeah, best of luck to them. And um, I hope you enjoyed this match review. Until the next one, guys, take care.